Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Um, Craig here. I just uh, want to show you a few things today. Um, uh, first and foremost, uh, what this video is going to be about today is getting uh, uh, Windows 7, and it has to be Windows 7, on your Mac. And if you're like me, and you mess with Windows uh, all your life, and then you got a Mac, and you realize how awesome Mac is and Apple products, and you don't want to mess with Windows 7, hey, I'm on board with you. But the thing is, is I'm in the military, so um, uh, the military systems utilize uh, Windows and anytime you know I have to digitally sign something or do a yearly report on a troop I need Windows um, and so basically um, I'm going to show you how to install Windows partition your hard drive any way you want install Windows uh, and um, and it'll be via boot camp so um, unlike programs like Parallels that run it on your Mac this is just going to be a simple hold the option key and then choose which operating system you want to boot up so it's pretty cool um, Okay, first thing we're going to need is a operating system disk. Now, instead of uh, walking in a store and getting a $150 copy of Windows Premium, or I like Windows Professional because it has XP compatibility, or getting a $300 copy of Windows Professional, um, just if you have an old, a old laptop or an old desktop laying around the house and you have an operating systems disk, um, grab that. And like I said, it has to be Windows 7. Uh, Windows Vista doesn't work. I tried it. Um, but Windows 7 and... Um, uh, if you don't have that, all you got to do is go to eBay and get somebody's restore disk, and that's what I did. And as you see here, I have somebody's Dell Operating System Windows 7 Professional, and that's what we're going to load on here. All right, and like I said, uh, we're going to be using Boot Camp Assistant, uh, which is a uh, utility. It's already built into Mac OS X Lion, so uh, like I said, you don't need to do anything. But uh, the next thing we're going to need is a, a, a flash drive, and I can tell you how big it needs to be. Um, let's see. Okay, so at least it needs to be a gig. Um, the uh, the file you're gonna be downloading is almost 700 megabytes. So at least make it a gig flash drive. Uh, I got a four gig, uh, and uh, make sure it's formatted right. So if you don't know how to format, uh, you're gonna open Disk Utility uh, in the Utilities on a Mac. Okay, you're gonna highlight your flash drive. Okay, you're gonna click Erase, and then you're gonna format it to MS DOS FAT. Okay. That way it's going to read on a Mac and a Windows computer. Uh, if, you do, um, if you do Mac OS X Journal, that's just going to read on a Mac. If you do, um, if you do uh, um, NTFS, it's just going to read on Windows. So MS-DOS FAT, that's uh, FAT32. Okay, once it's formatted right, you're going to go ahead and open Boot Camp Assistant. Utilities, Boot Camp Assistant. Okay. Now, um, you can go through the whole process um, as far as um, uh, uh, downloading. Uh, see what I, you can uh, remove, oh, I got to remove it because I already have it on there. But uh, um, basically, um, what I want you to do is just go ahead and download it first. So you're going to click download the latest version of Windows support software from Apple. You can hit continue and save it to an external, um, external drive. And you're going to click that and then you're going to, oops, click your, drive and hit save. I already have it so I'm not going to download it. So download that software there. Okay. Alright so as you can see this is my Windows partition. Um, sorry about the video. Um, I would do uh, my on-screen video recording but uh, because I'm going to be erasing operating systems and reloading them uh, it's, uh, I can't use that app. So anyway this is my Windows partition and now I'm going to erase it. Um, once you got that stuff downloaded, uh, once you well, I already have it um, saved on. Uh, I already have a Windows partition, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase it. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this whole thing is because uh, I actually want to make my partition bigger because I didn't have that much space left. But you can open Boot Camp Assistant. Let me just erase it real quick. Continue. I got. I'm gonna remove Windows 7, so I'm gonna take it away. Okay. Yeah. Restore. Put in my super secret password. Now it's gonna um, put my uh, MacBook Pro the way it was without a Windows partition, so it's erasing it. So, like I said, you wouldn't have to do that step because I already had the Windows 7 partitioned on my computer. But uh, this is where you should start from. Hit continue. Um, you should already have this downloaded. If not, you can do the whole process, which is download the software, then install Windows. Um, but go ahead and um, and put that disk in in your uh, computer. So I'm gonna put it in. I forgot to put it in. 
Okay. Uh, I already have that software downloaded, so I'm just going to install Windows 7. I'm waiting for the disk to load up. Then hit continue. And then uh, and then you can choose how much you want to partition your drive. I wouldn't recommend 20 because Windows and Windows programs eats up a lot of space. So I'm actually going to do 80 this time. Um, all right. And then I'm going to install. All right, so after it restarts, it should look like that and should say window is loading files. After it's done loading windows, it's going to go ahead and say starting windows. All right, let's come up that dialog box and pick whatever language you speak. This here's America, we speak English. Alright, found, found the uh, language. It says my, my language is English. English, US. Okay, install now. And then it's going to bring up a dialog box. Come on, alright. Accept. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to do custom advanced. Come on, focus in. Come on. Look like that custom advanced. Sorry about the um, custom advanced. Okay, and then sorry about how blurry this is, but can't use my on-screen thing. And then you're gonna go to the one that says boot camp, right there. Boot camp. All right, and then you're gonna click drive options advanced. Okay, and you're gonna hit format yes okay and it's gonna format it okay and then you just hit next and it's gonna go through that it should take about mm, 20 minutes this whole process is pretty long it takes about an hour and a half and you're gonna come up this screen right here you're gonna pick a username okay let's pick Craig Craig, be Craig PC, and then you click next. And this, uh, I don't want a password, so I'm just gonna click next. Okay. Um, use recommended settings. You're gonna have to update a bunch. So, recommended settings. Um, in Central Time, U.S. Eastern. Um, US. Okay, next. Okay, now it's going to prepare my desktop. You can see, I got a copy of Windows on my MacBook Pro. And you can see. And running Windows. So, uh, we're going to do a couple more things after that. First thing we're going to do is install the drivers. Go to start. Let's see, computer. Okay, I'm going to drag the computer on the desktop. Okay, my computer. You open that flash drive. Okay, you're gonna click on the Windows, uh, the Windows support right there. Click on Windows support, and then uh, and you're just gonna click on uh, boot uh, setup right down right down there. Setup. God, this is blurry. Why is it blurry? Setup, yes, and you're gonna run setup. Okay, click next, accept, next, yep, next. Okay, just go ahead and run that. Once you boot it back up from installing all your drivers, everything should work the way it works and work fine. So, um, uh, you'll be good to go to get on the internet, hook up to the internet and all that stuff. But what I want you to do right now is to go ahead and restart. Um, restart and hold the option key. Right there, boom. Option. Okay. So it's shutting down. And it's restarting. Okay, 
Now it gives you the option what you want to do, your recovery, your Windows, or Mac Pro. You're going to click your MacBook and boot it up. After you boot up your Mac, after, um, after you've installed Windows and installed your drivers, you're going to hold option, boot up your Mac, and then you're going to go to settings. You're going to change your startup disk. And I want Mac to, um, my MacBook Pro to um, boot up instead of Windows. So then you can click that and hit restart. You have changed the startup disk. Um, and it restarts. It's going to start up the Mac, which that should happen. Otherwise, you didn't change the startup disk. Uh, and then you're going to go ahead and restart again. So I'm going to go down there. We'll restart. And hold the option key. You're going to choose Windows and let Windows boot up. <clears throat> All right, after you've changed your startup disk on Mac to go back to Mac and then you reboot and you're up on Windows, you can go ahead and connect to the internet. And then what I want you to do is go on the start menu, okay, all programs, and then you can select Windows Update. Come on by that. When it's done, done updating, luckily I came. Uh, I came and it just got done updating, but um, you're going to go ahead and hit restart now and then hold the option key so it can configure the updates. Um, and um, well, hold the option key, then boot Windows so it can configure the updates. Um, if you just happen to walk away and it restarts automatically, and then you'll come back and your, um, your screen is on uh, Mac, um, just go ahead and restart, hold the option key, boot up Windows so it can configure the updates. So I'm going to hit restart. Hold the option key. And it's configuring the updates. So and same thing when you when you boot up Windows, it's gonna configure the updates too. So just make sure you do that. So like I said, after your first updates, just go ahead and repeat the process. I got more updates as you can see. Um, just uh, do more updates and um, until you're all the way updated. And um, and then, like I said, this should be good for about two, three weeks, and then you'll see a black screen come up say, this is not genuine. Now you can still use your Windows perfectly fine. Um, it's up to you whether you want to go and find that uh, a video that will teach you how to uh, uh, register it for free. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, that's it. So you got Windows on your Mac. Uh, anyway, um, this is Craig. Like I said, uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, comment. If I'm not around to answer anybody's comments, please uh, somebody jump in and hook me up. Uh, but this is pretty straightforward, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I hope I uh, help people out there. So anyway, take it easy. Thanks.